Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss what, how to use neural network in Ortex. So this is the Ortex designer and if you go on the predictive here you can see this is the neural network. So about the neural net network, so it capture represent complex input output relationship with a simple perception algorithm. Use a neural network tool model data that contains non-linear characteristics such as whether data or data used to detect fraud. So this is the a small uh, definition about the neural network. So let's understand by example. So here go on the input. So I'm going to delete this. So here go on the input, drag into the workflow. Now you can connect with the file or database. So you need to click on this drop down and hereafter you can give the data source. So this you can select uh, Microsoft SQL Server Oracle and many more and if you want to select the file click on this select the files you can select any kind of file like csv text and many more so let's select uh, file one and hereafter you can see this the record inside the file one now let's go to uh, predictive and here you can see this all in the sequence by there is no any problems to filter this all and hereafter drag this the uh, neural network and uh, stabilize the link and there is the important thing you need to give the name of the neural network so here giving mdl underscore neural network now here after dpd number it's selected you can select here one or more than one field so here i'm going to select dname and lock and uh, it's selected at least one predicted field must be selected and it, it has two outgoing first is output next is report so here i'm going to use the browse for display output and there is one browse needed for report now workflow part that has been completed run the workflow and now you can see there is so uh, 10 rows inside the file 299 byte is the size 26 percent completed on neural network and uh, here this is the start running of the workflow and uh, some data output data comes to this so uh, browse 7 and uh, it's taken 22 second times so here this is the output and output you can see name and the object and here there is the uh, uh, name mdl and the object size so here you can see now it, let's uh, select here or uh, this uh, report now you can see report of neural network this is the name mdl neural network this is the formula and uh, since i added to uh, dname and lock so here you can see dpt number tilde dname plus lock so dname plus lock because i added this to field now here after the next is so let's click on this report and uh, here you can see this the formula max uh, structure a17107 neural network 207 is the weight input to dname and lock output dpt number now here after the next is here you can see confusion matrix so 10 it's come 10 10 one times 20 20 one times 30 twice times so 10 20 1 1 times here you can see 10 there is only one 20 there is only one 30 you can see twice so this places and this places now click on this report once again and uh, here after you can see uh, 40 twice times 60 1 times 80 1 times 92 times so 40 here you can see this place twice times 60 only 1 80 only 1 90 twice times so with the neural network we can easily detect the uh, number of retrieved repeated uh, values and actual are in the rows predicted in the columns now here after histogram of the residual so here this the frequency uh, 0 10 20 30 40 it's taken and here this is the residual value histogram model now you can uh, see here residual versus fitted normal qq plot so this is the graph 
now you can see this is the residual this is the value and theory of quantities and here effect plot now effect plot of the dname and uh, here lock probability of 10 so here this is the and here this is the dname probability of uh, 10 and this is the location now probability of 20 and this is the dname probability of 20 this is the location so here after probability of 30 location you can see now here after let's uh, click and here if i select uh, one more dname dpt number now uh, run and check the output so here 27 percent completed on the neural network and uh, this part has been completed csv file and uh, about uh, if you go on the predictive before uh, this all those things that i already discussed so you can check my previous video and data investigation this all that i already discussed and uh, preparation this all i already discussed so at this time it has taken 23.5 second time there is no any problems that means target field and predicted field can be same and here if i click here you can see uh, this time uh, dp number and lock i think formula is the same and uh, you can see 10 10 1 by times 20 40 and uh, here after you can see this is the frequency and here or uh, dname and probability 10 lock probability 10 dname probability 20 lock probability 20 now here after the next is let's click on this here you can see a weight you can increase decrease graphical you can increase the resolution and uh, width you can increase height you can increase base and the size you can increase or decrease so it's all on optional and here after use the weight model uh, the number of nodes hidden there you can increase or decrease the values okay and include effect plot so this is the way we can use the neural network inside our tracks. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.